What's up guys, Flo Shizzle here, and today we're gonna be ranking all the Valorant agents based on how good of a lurker they are. So we actually recorded this live on stream, so in the case that you ever wanna put your input into one of these videos, make sure to follow my Twitch or subscribe to my YouTube channel as I stream live on both. Before we start the video, I wanna thank the sponsor of it, the like button. I would greatly appreciate it if you take a few seconds, just change the color of the thumbs up icon, it would help the channel a ton and help boost my videos in the algorithm. But without further ado, let's roll on to the video. We're splitting it into four categories we have a god tier lurker so this is like cream of the crop beautiful Mwah. lurking potential based on their abilities and a uh, the agent class then we have a solid lurk these are agents that are capable of doing it and aren't bad to do it then we have a slightly better than trash okay so if trash is here then these agents are like right here um then we have a doo-doo trash okay that's garbage never lurk Baiting. All right, so yeah, if you guys have noticed, it, there's gonna be a little bit of discrepancy. It just feels like, oh, there's only two tiers. It's like you're either good at lurking or you're bad at lurking, or really bad. And that's kind of true. There's not really many agents that sit in between, and it, like it doesn't really make sense. It's like a pretty black and white thing. Uh, there are some agents that are little, a little bit better, but still trash, and that's why there's two separate areas. Like uh, there's two separate tiers for them. But in general, we're gonna be splitting these up into these four categories. We're gonna start off by defining what is a good lurk. So let's think about it. A lurker is a player that generally goes toward the opposite side of the map. And that's to do multiple things. One, it's to maintain map control on that side, uh, get an early flank while the main team is pulling rotations off. So maybe they'll find an opening, they'll get a kill as someone's rotating off, or they might just find an open bomb site, and then therefore they could tell their team, hey, rotate back. What makes a good lurking agent is mainly this key point. Lurking is basically determined by what utility you provide to the main hit. For example, if we think about it, if you had, let's say, flashes to get you out of the main choke point, why would you want to lurk when the flashes are not there to be used? Like you don't use flashes on the lurk, you generally want to stay silent. And on the main hit, you generally want to get out of a smoke, running through a smoke or something like that. And guess what you need? Flashes. Similar thing is like info uh, utility. Uh, info utility doesn't really matter on a lurk because you don't want to give away your presence. Um, but on the main hit, you do definitely want to know where on site they're hiding. That's the biggest kind of deciding factor. Would you be better on the main hit? If so, you're probably not that great of a lurk. If you don't have much, then generally you're much better suited toward lurking. Doo doo trash agents for lurking. We're gonna start. Breach. Sky. Sova. Fade. Right away. These are doo doo trash. Before you guys get mad, you're like, oh no, other agents should be there. Wait, wait, give, give me a sec. Let me explain. Breach. Sky. Sova. Fade. None of them do anything on the lurk. Like, absolutely. Like, you. you uh, what, what is your util gonna do? Okay, you tell, oh, for here, breach, uh, you a a after shock a trip, well, you still have to break the trip. Okay, so you can't get around any trips on lurking. Um, and uh, trips are a big deal as a lurker because you have to kind of either circumvent them, find some way to get around them, and the agents that have abilities to really do that are more suited to it. But besides that, let's look at our general rule of thumb. Dude, if my breach is on the other side of the map, my sky is on the other side of the map, my Sova or fade, and they're not darting for these two and they're not flashing or like dogging or something for me why are they existing all their utility is suited to helping their team push up but they decide to play on the opposite side of the map they don't even have util that helps them lurk i hope i don't need to argue about these these are ass so next we're gonna go to agents that are slightly better than trash jet then i'm going to be putting rays ko i don't want to go with brim but brim is like it's like the it's like in between these two. It's, it's definitely better than well, ninety percent of like every other agent here. But it's, I'm a, I'm gonna leave them for solid lurk. You guys already get a hint there. Sage, Reyna, Neon, Phoenix. Okay, so I'm, I'm good with this list. Slightly better than trash are these seven agents. Let, let's just make this clear. These guys are still still god awful at lurking. Still like do, like do not lurk on these agents but they are more capable than doo-doo trash. So they're just a teensy weensy bit better. So let's kind of explain why. All right, for Jet, the reason why is because she has her updraft and she has smokes. So she, she, she can sometimes get around Util, especially on the rare occasion. Like back when Bind, uh, Cypher on Bind was really common, so Jet would be one an annoyance getting over trips because she's an updraft over. And same now, you could still kind of get away with that with Chamber Trip, you just smoke out with the trip. Um, and because of that, I will put her as 
slightly better than trash and it's it's still like obviously i still rather have a jet come with me on site but because she has these abilities okay she's a little bit better than doo doo trash next we're gonna go raise it's like it's like uh one saving grace is you got your satchel you might hop over the one guy in the entirety of valorant that's still playing cypher ah uh, that might be it like that that literally might be it ko is an interesting one um i would say ko is probably on the higher end of this um closer to solid lurk but i would still like just never really want to um and the reason is because he can suppress uh, his knife, if you are a smart player and you play correctly, there's a chance you can get a knife off on someone that is like, if you target specific people, you can play around it. So for example, a uh, trip on mid, right? Uh, on ascent is really common, the one by pizza. And guess what's also pretty common a place for the chamber to play. Chambers love to peek cat. If you suppress cat early and you find out that you suppress the chamber, if you're fast enough and you've already planned this in your head at least a little bit, you can start just immediately running through mid. Because a lot of the times what happens is they just leave mid open because they assume the trip is going to cover for it. But that early in the round, like that's a pretty smart play. Not only that, his ult kind of works. It's like double-edged sword. I don't personally don't think people have gotten to the point where they're good enough to recognize where the KO ult pulses are coming from. But since the area is so big, sometimes on the lurk, if you pop your ult, you can, like the same issue, suppress the trip watchers, right? And then you kind of maybe catch off rotates as they don't expect it. That one's a little bit more gimmicky. It really requires your, the enemy team to be kind of dumb and not realize that there's a big ass fucking emitting pulse coming from a certain direction. But it can work, especially if like it's, um, there's elevation difference. So like, well, let me see. A link and short A are they feel like they're coming relatively from the same area with sound but they're completely different areas and that's just because of the map how the map is shaped so if there might be like certain niche cases where it'll work better than others but because he has those abilities he has a better ability to be better than trash at lurking sage one saving grace you have a wall you have a wall to wall off a trip wall off a turret wall um, you can't wall off uh, what's it called uh cypher trip but you can I guess get run out over it so i guess there's that but like that it's it's a copium you know it's copium it's they just, she's not good every time you'd much rather just wall off ct spawn or some shit like that on the attack so it's just that she could um neon is the same thing with their fast lane and little double walls you can wall off trip reyna okay uh, we'll leave reyna for last phoenix is the same thing with the flame walls you get might get away with just mauling something i mean walling or something off and you get the lurk up but obviously these are like sad excuses for a reason to lurk so yeah reyna so i was like thinking why is reyna not like doo-doo trash and i think the reason is um, compared to Reyna to the original doo doo trash agents is that she's already a selfish agent She's like you're already expecting her to like need to do things on her own And like the team doesn't rely as much on arena like even not more than jet because like what are you relying on arena for besides a body like the body is the biggest thing like having another player there is the biggest thing but no i don't like not that many times will you be like oh i need this rain of flash yes it is better to have it than not but it's not as important i would say like a jet dashing onto site into her own smoke and because of that i put her better than doo doo trash because uh, these guys like you need you need on the main hit the reina is like there's already lurking reinas out there guys we already we already know that can't exist anyway so that's my reasoning for slightly better than trash. Okay, so solid lurk. We're gonna put Brimstone, Cypher, Killjoy, Yoru. Hmm, let me think, let me think. Can we, let's, let's add another row. The Jesus Lurker. Equivalent of a, a lurker. Okay, we're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna add this one. The Jesus equivalent of a lurker, all right. So we have an extra tier now, just because I think this agent is so good that it deserves his own tier. I think Brimstone is the worst of these, and the reason why before I said it might be in slightly better than Trash is because of the fact that he has ranges on his smoke. So the reason why he can be here is because of the fact that his smokes do have a little bit of range. But in a lot of cases, you need to be like almost with the team to be able to smoke everything you need. I trying to think of maps where Brimstone doesn't need to be with the team and it's still able to smoke. And I think it's very rare. Like I'm thinking maybe Ascend, if you run through mid, you could still smoke tree and like door and like maybe heaven. I'm not even sure by of that case. But like, you'll see that because Brimstone doesn't have that, 
then it doesn't it doesn't make sense like yes he has smokes to smoke off trip so like he's in the same like boat as jeb but like in the, in the it's like a worst case it could be a very much a worst case because of the maps i can't really think of any map off the top of my head where he might like be able to still smoke yeah i don't know it's 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 in one of these categories that's the issue it's his range of his smokes you know, he doesn't have any value and if he's not able to smoke for, like if he's able to smoke for his teammate then it's fine because he smokes this for his team and then he's able to walk and that's what you're gonna see with the other smokers anyway cypher is a solid lurk he basically provides nothing to the main hit he doesn't have that much in terms of like helping on a flank um and you know sometimes his trips do kind of um allow him to shut down some defensive positions once you take sight like you take sight and then you throw trips to like help hold on the retake it's not common but you know, kind of can work um but it's the fact that he doesn't provide anything on the main hit and that's the same with killjoy yoru is one of those where it's like yes you, you like it's the harder debate like you, it, you it's like a 50 50 would you rather have yoru on the main hit sometimes uh especially if you have your role you'd rather have on the main hit maybe if it doesn't have your role and you're just like playing off of uh clone and like flash maybe not like, but i feel like it's really determined like if your team can't get on site like your first instinct should not be to lurk as yoru it lurking for yoru would be like more of a luxury oh my team gets on site without me i'm just gonna start lurking um or something like that or they still can't get on site even with me then i'm gonna start lurking I try doing something different so yeah those are why I'm, where i'm placing it so god tier lurkers we're putting omen viper and astra and these are all smoke agents i think they're slightly better because well, i guess cypher could technically his cage can kind of smoke off trips uh well it's, they're not as good as these because these agents still provide value even being far away cypher doesn't provide any value like asher could drop stars viper put out their wall omen smoking like they're throwing it on the site right and they're being helpful to the site while still being on the opposite side of the map cypher doesn't do anything for the teammates that are coming out and ends up kind of just being toward the side so that's why i put these a level above the fact that you can smoke still like smoke trips it might be a little bit harder on viper but as omen and asher you can easily smoke trips you could still like asher is really good for like throwing all your stars down on site and just pulling and concussing and smoking everything off and then she has no utility so she might as well be a vanilla agent that's on the flank so it's pretty solid um omen is the same omen might even my omen's probably a little bit better um because he has tps uh, that he can use and viper is pretty much the same where lurking is really strong and you can delay really long with your wall time it you stay alive longer usually on a lurk so therefore you apply that to your utility your gas stays up for more of the round and stuff like that okay now we are the jesus equivalent of a lurker there's only one agent left and that's chamber so the reason why is that chamber just is strong right he technically he could do everything so that it, it's kind of unfair to compare pretty much any ch agent to chamber because well we can't deny that getting kills is a very important fact of doing well in valorant so with that being said he's going to be just generally chambers very good at getting kills and staying alive he's going to be very strong so let's talk about his kit his trip doesn't do anything to watch it but let's keep going his tps allow him to be very aggressive in taking space early in the round on the extremities of the map every other agent pretty much has to kind of wait until their team makes a lot of noise so let's use bind bind's a really good example you're going towards showers right you're working towards showers your team are outside of hookah and outside of belong Showers is a really good way way to try to get like a lurk in. Um, it's an extremity of the map. But if you're any other agent, you don't want to walk in just blind because it's a fair fight and you have no way of easily getting out. Also, every extremity of every map has, guess what? An ult orb. Guess what's fucking annoying? Chamber op is stupid. This thing, if you just continually play as chamber and you lurk toward the extremities, you will farm your op every single round. Like so often you'll get like, you just get chamber op. Plus if you get a kill, Plus, if you like win your team the, the, the round, you're just going to get chamber up and you're going to cycle it. You're going to keep the economy high for your entire team. Like it's so good for chamber. Um, just playing that lurk role, farming those orbs, as well as the fact if chamber dies, who cares, man? You don't he never applied anything to the main hit. The worst thing is that his trip goes down. That's the worst thing. And I'm not saying that like as like, oh, wait, well, you can lose the round because of a trip. You can lose a lot the round because a lot of things. I'm going to say you probably lose the round more often than not because of your old, your smoke dying too early than your chamber dying too early. And that's the big thing. You want to keep into consideration how important is this agent's life into the, toward the main hit. Chamber's life toward the main hit doesn't matter. Like it, besides the body, every other agent is also a risk when they 
lurk though that they might lose a body that they could throw in on a hit but with chamber it's like low risk high reward that's why chamber is the jesus equivalent of a lurk. anyways that wraps up this video if you have any other topics or tier lists or whatever that you want me to cover comment down and let me know if you enjoyed the content hit the sub button but with that being said i'll see you in the next one peace out